we do have both the two and a half gallon in the bucket milkers now. They're available in the plastic and also the stainless steel to go along with the ultimate easy pump and the easy power pack. So it can be totally self-sufficient. You can go out in the middle of the desert or pasture or anywhere and be able to milk your cow, goat, sheep, horses, or camels. Good morning, Buck Wheeler here. This morning I want to go ahead and introduce you to our two new buckets and we've got some new additions that I want to go over with you today. Number one is we have our two and a half gallon uh, plastic uh, ultimate easy bucket and our stainless steel bucket. I'll get into that a little bit later because we've changed the hookups on it, made it a lot easier to open and close and dump the milk out of. First of all, I want to go over, we have the three sizes of the um, silicone inflations, the small, it's green, the medium blue, and of course the red is large. Um, I want to go ahead, the next thing we're going to do, I want to show you some new improvements that we've made on the uh, bucket. We've changed the complete hookup for the vacuum setup on it and everything and made it a lot easier. And uh, first of all, I want to go ahead and we've also got it hooked up to our, our new uh, battery pack here, the easy uh, power pack. <clears throat> it operates off of a 20 volt DeWalt battery or 18 volt Makita and uh, Milwaukee batteries. Just It simply plugs right into the inverter. So you're able to go out there and uh, turn this thing on. You can be in the middle of the Weir Desert or out in the cow pasture somewhere. And of course all the milkers work on the sheep, the goats, the camels, the horses, and the uh, cows of course. I'm going to go ahead and turn the switch on on the inverter now, and if you'll notice, um, as soon as I turn it on, you'll see the vacuum go ahead and start building up. We want to make sure all of your locks up here are shut off because that's, they have to be shut down for the vacuum to go ahead and be able to pick up. Now the regulator valve is right here. Turn it up, down, you can turn it all the way up. It'll only go, the maximum that it will go is 12 and a half inches of mercury. So the red arrow is for the cows, the horses, and the camels, and of course the black arrow is the sheep and the goats. So whatever you're milking, just preset it. Over here on top of the, the uh, overflow jar, there's a little valve, safety valve that we put in there, so this absolutely cannot go over 12 and a half inches of mercury. And uh, that's what we uh, absolutely, will, it'll top out at, so you don't have any chance of uh, hurting any of your animals. So you just simply preset it. Right now I've got it on the uh, sheep from the goats with the black arrow. When you go ahead and start getting ready to put it onto the teeth, you just simply line it up with the teeth release the air, and it just goes right up. At that point, push it up into the bag and pull it down once, and you'll see the milk coming in. And I'll have videos showing that on the goats and the cows. So, what I want to do is show you our new hookup for the, uh, the stainless steel bucket now. It's very easy. We've completely changed the whole setup on it, so all you have to do is just put that back the vacuum's out of the can now. And then at that point, you just simply, you can go ahead and pick up your bucket, pour out the milk, and uh, into your container that you're gonna put it on, and then just re replace your, uh, replace the lid. And at this point, you can go ahead and then uh, just simply bring it forward again. Uh, regulator back on and just simply okay. so when you're done milking then and uh, a good way to go ahead and rinse out the uh, tubes and everything uh, and the bucket before you get in for the final washing on it and just simply go ahead and just release the uh, the valves on them and you can see the at least three there's three there's the fourth one and they're taking the water right up into the bucket 
and then to help clear them off so you can go like this to help clear the lines a little more and uh, as you can see it's filled with water just sucking it right up and uh, And you'll be done. You just shut them off. And you go ahead and turn one into the house and finish up. It's very simple. It's fast, effective, and thanks a lot for your time.